So in this video, I know it's windy, but I'm going to show how to do a, a scrap pallet decking. So for the last year, what I've been using is these just these pallets that uh, have really deteriorated. Um, so I got a free a couple of free more pallets. Um, they didn't cost us anything, and I got some scrap lumber uh, that I that I had, and now I want to. I did buy a little bit, probably about forty dollars worth of. Uh, uh, picket fencing lumber type uh, so here's here's what it is and we're gonna make two small decks out of it uh, these are not your OSHA proof decks we're just doing it just because we're out in the country uh, I'm tired of stepping in the mud every time I go into the RV and I'll show you kind of what I'm trying to prevent uh, see how so nasty these floors get uh, we don't have running water so every time it's a hassle uh, no power. You see, I got a little solar panel here that's hooked up to the uh, to the battery, so that keeps it alive a little bit longer. But yeah, this is what it looks like now, and we'll see what it looks like later. All right, so we're gonna do our testing pallet. So this is gonna be a temporary pallet for a temporary camper that's sitting right here. Right, it doesn't stay here. So this is something that, are, that is lightweight. I want to be able to move it later. And all we're gonna use is just hatchet with a flat back, like a hammer, some screws, a drill bit, and a skill saw, a circular saw. And then here, I had a bunch of fencing material left over, so we're going to use these scraps, I'm trying to double deck that, fix it up a little bit. So I cleaned up the pallet a little bit and I staged the next boards, so I'm going to run these, just fill the gaps in, and then the next one, uh, I'm going to run them perpendicular. So all I gotta do is just cut them with a circular saw. This is what it ended up being. I actually cut it, just eyeballed it. And uh, we don't have any real decking screws. We just use what we have. All of it is either already had or scrap. So we're just gonna use these little guys. And then for framing, if we need to support it with framing, we'll use the longer ones. All right, so um, what we did is we spaced them out a little bit so the rain can kind of fall through. Uh, we try to use the one of the boards to actually space it. Use what you got. So next we're gonna screw them all in, and then I'm gonna go right on the outside edge and cut it with a with all a right, skill So saw. that's what it looks like uh, with being all screwed together. We really just kind of went right at it. Uh, all I'm gonna do now is just gonna kind of eyeball it and just cut a straight line on both sides. So I went ahead and cut them. Real easy, just eyeball them. You can see it's not perfect. This deck isn't, well, I guess if you can call it a deck, isn't perfect. It's only meant to last just us a little bit, but you can see how well it stands. Well, on flat ground, I think it'll be pretty okay. Uh, it's better than bringing mud in the, in the camper. So for the next stunt, we have a, uh, we actually have two decks. This is more permanent, but you know, it would be better to connect them all together. Unfortunately, if I ever need to move one of them, I don't want to move the entire behemoth. I'd like to move it by parts and pieces if it ruts out, which this is my least favorite one. I think it's going to rot out pretty quick, so I'll probably have to replace it in time, or in shorter time. Uh, but I'm hoping this just lasts the season. Uh, I've already been breaking my ankles on the on the pallets that I had. By no means is this a... This is a soundproof deck, but it should hold, you know, just mild traffic. So, and like like before, we're staggering them for for better drainage. So the next part is we're gonna go ahead and screw them in, and then we'll do this side, and we'll go to do the other side, and we're gonna get rid of that whatever that is left of the pallets. All right, so this is kind of the final product. We have how many other? So. Uh, six seven eight pallets here i think it's eight uh they're all free um put the grill there we finished up we ran out of supplies this is the last scrap piece we had left uh we even used the little scrap pieces to kind of level it all out a little bit uh it's not too level but it's level enough to where you can walk on it and not fall over uh, we get a little spot for my solar panel the grill might end up moving forward, but for now it's going to be at least off the ground. 
and that took us total two hours to do this deck and the one over here and this is actually more of my favorite one because that came as a solid pallet uh, from like a refrigerator or something uh, I like that better it, it does feel more, a lot more sturdy but two hours this deck cost about in materials I did pay for some materials about forty dollars the other one was under twenty um, and the only material cost was these and uh, I did I did have some a bunch left over that's why I chose to use uh, that they're about a somewhere between a buck fifty to two dollars a board they're six feet which kind of worked out for us not too bad uh, you'll provide me a little bit of shade once I put the awning down um, and if I want to move them I can one deck at a time on the farm a busy bee channel